Hi and welcome to CIA. I am Mayank. In this video I am going to show you how to install Motic on Linux. In this video I am going to show you how you can create an Ubuntu instance on Lightsail, install Webid only on it, prepare Ubuntu for Motic installation, download and install Motic, configure cron jobs and configure SMTP. Okay so let's get started. First of all I am going to create a new instance on Lightsail. First I will log into Lightsail and go to create new instance. Now I will choose Linux, OS only and Ubuntu 20. In the instance plan I will choose the instance with at least 1 GB of RAM, give the instance a name and then click create instance. The instance will take some time to get up and running but for this video I have fast forwarded it. To map a domain to instance I will go to networking tab Click on existing DNS zone and add a, an A record. If you don't have DNS zone set up, you can create a new DNS zone and do the domain mapping. I will give the link to my blog post describing in detail how to do it. Now the next step is to enable HTTPS port. Click on the instance, go to networking, firewall, add a new rule and choose HTTPS from drop down and click create. Your instance is now ready to accept request at HTTPS port. The instance is now ready. To connect to instance in browser, go to connect and click connect using SSH. A terminal will open. Let's install Webinoli. Go to webinoli.com, copy paste the installation command to browser console and press enter. Webinoli will install all required packages to run Motec. In fact, any PHP application with MySQL support. It will take some time, so I have fast forwarded it. At the end, you will see root username and passwords. Copy this and keep it safe. You may need it later, though not in this tutorial. Webinoli provides a new command, site. You can use this to create new site or manage existing ones. To create a new site, use command sudo space site space site name hyphen MySQL. This will create a virtual host with site name configured and MySQL database to use with the site. To check if the new site was created, use sudo site hyphen list. To install SSL certificate, use command sudo space site space site name space hyphen SSL is equal to on. This will ask for an email, enter a valid email and press enter. Webinoli will install and configure SSL certificate for you. Now before installing Motic, I'll show you how to prepare the server for it. Check which user is managing the nginx and php using command ps space aux. In case of Webinoli, it is www data for both php and nginx. Now I'll add the user ubuntu to group www data. Then I will assign directory ownership to ubuntu and www data. Finally assign directory rights to user and group. Though complete rights are only given to user, which should be www data in this case, I often use Ubuntu to clear the cache and do or other operations. So I assign the rights to group as well as to user. So even if the user modifies a file, group also have access to it and it can operate without issues.
Once the server is ready with correct rights and permissions, let's download the Motic. There are two ways to do this. Download the release from GitHub or from Motic.org. On Motic website, you will need to go to Download, Releases, Download Motic and fill a form to start download. But in this case, you will need to upload zip using FTP. To skip this step, I will show the direct method. Go to Motic GitHub repository github.com slash Motic slash Motic. The link is given in description. Click on Tags. Select the version. At the bottom of the page, you will find the link to zip archive. Copy this link and use wget command in command terminal to download the file. And then use unzip command to extract the files. Once the unzip is complete, now again set the right ownership and permissions for the file and directories. After this step, Motic will be ready to install using browser. Okay, so now is the time to move to browser and open the domain map to this instance. You will see requirements check page. Motic may show some recommendation, but nothing serious. You can proceed for now and do the recommended changes later. Click next step. It will ask for database details. Use the details you received from Webinoli at the time of site creation. Please note, I am not using root credentials at the time of installation of Webinoli, but the credentials which were provided at the time of site creation. Enter database detail and click next step. Motic will ask you to set up your first Motic user. Fill in the username, password, first name, last name and email and click next step. Finally, Motic will ask for email configuration, but skip it for now and click next step. Motic installation is now complete. You should be able to log in using the username and password you created. Log in and see the dashboard. Next step is to set up cron jobs. To see available and recommended options, open a new tab, go to motic.org. Under the menu, user documentation, setup, cron jobs, here you will find all the available options and which are required ones. I have added the link to my blog post in description where I have given the time and format of all the cron jobs I personally use. You will also find all other commands in the order of use. Back in the terminal, you can use cron tab space hyphen L command to check if any cron already exists. To create cron for www data, we need to use command with hyphen U parameter for user and hyphen E for edit mode. Choose the first and easiest editor nano and proceed to edit. I will copy paste the crons I have already created and save it. Use Ctrl plus O to save, Ctrl plus X to exit. 
cron jobs will be installed next and final step of this tutorial is to configure email smtp for motic this step was skipped at the time of installation so now i will show you how to do it from motic configurations obtaining smtp configurations is out of scope for this video i am using ses smtp you can use any one you prefer to use to configure email smtp go to settings configurations email settings here enter the smtp details like hostname encryption port username and password for authentication once done click test connection to validate your configuration click apply or close and save do let me know in the comments if you are able to install motic using this tutorial please like the video and subscribe to channel